We'll start by putting a shuck of Zelon on for the tail. Tied in about two thirds of the way up the hook. Wrap back out the barb. Trim this right about half the hook hit, hook shank length. Take our thread back up forward. Tie in a piece of copper wire. Alongside that, we'll put in a piece of pearl mylar tinsel. Tie those in together, wrap back on them, back to where we stopped the tail. Get some of this dubbing, I'm going to build up a pretty good sized body. Make sure we taper this from the back up to about two thirds of the way up the hook shank spot here. Of course, probably gonna have to add more dubbing. That's probably about right. Take the pearl mylar first. We're gonna make a rib evenly spaced. We get about five six wraps in here. Tie that off. You can clip that. Take the copper wire. Put the copper wire the wrap in front of the rib. This will create kind of a double rib protecting that copper wire from breaking. Tie that off, clip the wire. Use some of this calf tail here. This is a dark brown. Pretty decent sized chunk here. And we'll stack this. Might have to double stack this. Here's a little trick. Not all the ends are going to be even when you pull them out, so you can do somewhat of a hand stack here. So pull out some of the shorter fibers and stack them together. Put them back in the hair stacker. Stack them again. And it's better. A few of those longer fibers. I'm going to put this wing on. I'm going to measure it so it's about as long as that chuck tail we had there, maybe a little shorter. Set that on top of the hook and a couple loose wraps. I'm just going to bind that down, gradually tighten up, clip the butt ends. and wrap over those to secure your calf tail wing a little trick I'll use is take the thread from around the back side drop it over take one wrap in front do that about twice that will lock in that wing keep it from pulling out put your thread up behind the eye we're gonna use some deer hair and spin a bullet head. I'll stack the deer hair. Get the tip tips even here. And I'm going to want to take advantage of the section of the deer hair that's going to flare, which is the hollow part, which is going to be starting about this midsection here. So I will just take 
got the tips here. I'm just gonna take a cut right there. Tricky part is switching between hands. What I'll do is get this in my right fingers here. It's not gonna be perfect, but you wanna keep those butt ends as close together as you can. And just, we're gonna catch the very ends of the fibers here with a thread. Switch over to my left hand, take the thread. We want to happen when we pull down on the thread, this is going to naturally flare. So I want a couple loose wraps. I'm going to let go my left fingers. I'm going to let it spin around the hook. It's going to look like a mess here. Wrap your thread back through the butt ends. Go in here. Clip the butt ends. Now my thread is back where I tied in the wing. To get the bullet head, what we'll do, so I'm going to take three of my fingers here, my thumb, my first finger, my middle finger, and I'm going to compress these fibers back into the bullet head. So I'll kind of sweep those back. I'll take my left hand, same fingers, they kind of prep those with. Pull that back. You're going to get one shot at this, so you want to make sure you're pulling back the hair fairly tight. I'm going to use that thread to bind those fibers down. We'll build up a small base there. And we're going to add a couple legs here. Rubber legs. Again, one set away from me, and one set towards me. We'll trim all this in a sec. These big bugs, you might not want an indicator. Um, some of the smaller bugs, squalas, small goldens. Um, you probably want an indicator so you can see it. We're going to throw one on here anyway. Piece of this egg yarn. Just going to set that on top of the hook here. And take three or four wraps. Right in the center there. And a whip finish. Finish off. I'm not jumping up in front of the head. I'm finishing off where I tied those legs in. to finish off in front of the yarn. Trimming, let's we'll start with the indicator. Pull both those up. And let's trim that. Legs, front legs are gonna be a little shorter, maybe about an inch long. Back legs are going to be about the length of the body, maybe a tiny bit longer. One other thing is the bottom here. So that hair spun all the way around the hook. I'm going to come in on the bottom and trim that deer hair off the collar, exposing the body of the bug. Might trim that indicator down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 